And we are back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. And for the second part of the show, uh, we are now going to talk about um, the power rankings that were released this week. And I'll give you my thoughts on that. Uh, We'll go from the bottom to the top. And, uh, yeah, so like we normally do. And then actually we might squeeze in uh, the college football uh, power rankings as well. Uh, We'll go through that um, towards the end of the segment here. So, uh, starting at 32 here, uh, we got the Carolina Panthers. I mean, no surprise there. Uh, One and nine on the season. Uh, It's been really rough for them. It it just has. And the Bears have the number one overall pick because of that. Um, Panthers look like they got to be kicking themselves for taking uh, Bryce Young over C.J. Stroud. Yeah, it's, it's been bad. Um, Patriots at 31, no surprise there. Um, you know, two and eight, they'll be playing the Giants this week who picked up their third win on the season. Uh, so that could be the battle for like the number two or number three pick in the draft. Um, we'll see. I mean, the Zappy start Mac Jones start. We'll see. Uh, Cardinals, they're back down to 30, uh, losing a close game to the Cardinals, uh, losing a close game to the Texans. Sorry. And they had their opportunities. They did. Um, they, you know, they, they forced C.J. Stroud into three interceptions, but you know, it, it, they just couldn't. They just couldn't get it done, um, and they lose a close game there. Uh, the Giants moving up to twenty-nine. Uh, Tommy DeVito three touchdowns uh, the other day against the Commanders. The Giants, no matter how bad they are. They just continue to own the Commanders. I, I wish they could do that to other teams, but for some reason, they just own the Commanders. Um, so, at least our dominance against them continues. And it's funny because Zach Wilson got benched, right? Zach Wilson has never had a game where he's thrown three touchdown passes. Tommy DeVito did that in his second career start. I mean, what else is there to say? Really, um, yeah. So uh, the Giants they picked up the win. That kind of hurts their chances with like getting the top pick at the moment. I mean, but it's nice to see them win. It's nice to see Saquon Barkley running the ball. Kayvon Thibodeau, ten and a half sacks on the season. So you know, for all the people that were calling him a bust, and you know, I was getting a little nervous myself. But he's going to be a good player. He is, and. You know, the Giants, they got to continue to build this team. And I'm hoping that, you know, Joe Shane can do that. Um, but, you know, th- this year was uh, was rough for the Giants. So hopefully next year things are different. Uh, 28, you got the Bears at 3-8. and eight. Uh, You know, they showed some good things against the Lions. Um, they forced Jared Goff into some turnovers. I think that was just more of, like, bad Lions. But Justin Fields connected with that, um, connected to D- with DJ Moore for that long touchdown. Um, so, you know, I mean, we'll see what the Bears can do. Can they, um, you know, play better in the second half? Can Justin Fields play better? And, and, you know, the Bears are going to have a high draft pick with the Panthers. So, um, you know, we'll see what they do at the end of the year. Um, the Titans at 27, I mean, blowout loss against Jacksonville. I mean, this is a lost season for them. Uh, Will Levis looked really good in his debut, but hasn't looked good since. Uh, yeah. Titans, uh, you know, a couple years ago they were in the number one seed. Now, I mean, they look like one of the bottom teams in the AFC. So, uh, yeah, they're at 27. The Commanders at 26. They dropped three spots. Uh, that was a bad loss against the Giants. I think it was they, they had six turnovers in that game. I mean, Sam Howell threw three picks. I mean, the fumbles. I mean, it was awful. And they, you know what's funny? They almost they could have won that game. But then... Um, you know, Sam Howell kind of sealed the deal with that pick six. Uh, Isaiah Simmons took that back. Giants put up 31 points against the Commanders. Um, I mean, I never thought they put up 31 points once Daniel Jones got hurt. I thought that was it. I I, I didn't think they were going to win another game. But the Commanders proved this all wrong. Uh, so the Jets are at 25. They're at 4-6. and six. I mean, the offense is it's brutal. It's brutal to watch. Uh, Zach Wilson finally was benched. Um, they're actually dressing all three quarterbacks on Friday. So you're going to have Trevor Simeon backing up Tim Boyle. Zach Wilson will also be dressed for this game, which is like, it's like, why at this point? Just get rid of him. But, 
you know, they're they're gonna they're gonna dress him up. Tim Boyle's getting the start against the Dolphins. And it's just it's unfortunate, you know, with the Jets. I mean, what could have been if Aaron Rodgers didn't get hurt? But uh, you know, it is what it is. Um, the Rams are at 24. They jumped up three spots, uh, picking up a win against Seattle. Um, they're playing the Cardinals this week, which is a winnable game. So you can get yourself back to, you know, get yourself to five and six and then go from there. Um, you know, Cooper Cup dealing with that ankle injury. He might be, he might play this week, so that's good. Um, you know, I know Stafford got banged up in the game against Seattle as well. So we'll see what happens. But, um, yeah, I mean, the Rams, I don't really expect them to do much. Um, I, they're not the same team that they were a couple years ago, and I've said that numerous times. Um, the Falcons at 23. Desmond Ritter is going to get the start again against the Saints. Yeah, I mean, they're still in it for the division. I mean, pretty much every team outside of the Panthers is, so, you know, we'll see. Packers jumped up four spots. Um, they're at four and six. I mean, they've been playing good lately. Their, their offense, uh, Jordan Love has looked better. I know it was against a bad Chargers defense, but, you know, you'll take that. I mean, Jordan Love wasn't good against the Raiders when they played, you know, in um, in, uh, in Vegas earlier in the year. He didn't play good against the Broncos. But, you know, you'll take anything. And he, he definitely looked like a, uh, a better player. He has looked like a better quarterback uh, in the last couple of weeks, which is good. He's looking how he's he looked at the beginning of the year. So you're hoping that that continues. Uh, the Raiders are at 21. They did lose a tough game to the Dolphins, but, you know, when Antonio Pierce has got this team playing hard, and, you know, depending on what happens, I mean, if they keep playing hard, I mean, I think he should be the head coach moving forward. I don't think they should make a change because, I mean, look at what happened with, uh, you know, Gruden and Rick Passaccia. I mean, they got rid of Gruden after the whole thing with him um, and the the emails. And, uh, you know, then you bring in Passaccia, well, you promote Versaccia, and he, you know, they lead. He leads the play, the Raiders to the playoffs, and then you get rid of him. You bring in Josh McDaniels, and the team regressed. So, I, I think you got to keep Antonio Pierce if this team, you know, continues to play well and play hard for him. Um, you got the Bucks at twenty. Uh, I mean, that was a tough game against the 49ers. They did hang around in it, but the 49ers were a much better team. So, um, you know, they got a big game this week. Got to get themselves back to their winning ways. Um, division is still in in reach. So, uh, Chargers at 19. I mean, Brandon Staley should be fired. I mean, you know, at this point, it's like, what are we doing? <laughs> you know, um, also the drops uh, were an issue in the game as well. Um, but yeah, they're at 19. You got the Bengals at 18, dropping six spots. I, I mean, there's it's a lost season for them now that Burrow's out. Um, it's just unfortunate because they were looking like one of the best teams in the NFL, and then of course he gets hurt and he's done for the year. The Broncos at 17, they have they've rattled off uh, four games in a row back to 500. The defense is playing better, so let's see, let's see what they can do here. Um, Colts at 16, they're five and five. Um, I don't really expect them to do anything, but you got to give them credit. You know, they're they're not a bad team. You know, if they could uh, go out and have a good draft and good and a good free agency. You know, in the offseason, this is going to be a good team next year. Um, you got the Saints at 15 and 5 and 5. I, I just don't really trust them. They, they've just been so inconsistent this year. Um, the Vikings are at 14. Lost that tough game to the Broncos, but I still look at them as the team that's going to make the third wild card. Uh, the Steelers at 13. They let go of Matt Canada finally, so we'll see if the offense can turn it up. Uh, Seattle dropped down to 12. Uh, they lost that tough game to the Rams. Now they got the 49ers on Thursday. Uh, Geno Smith might be playing, but we'll see. If not, it's going to be Drew Locke. If it's Drew Locke, it's going to be rough. Um, then you got the Bills at 11, jumped up three spots. Uh, let's see. They fired their offensive coordinator. They looked better. I mean, you could also make the argument that the Jets' defense mailed it in. But, you know, Bills are still in it, over 500 now. Uh, Texans are a top 10 team. I mean, C.J. Stroud has thrown three picks. Well, did throw three picks in the game against the Cardinals, but they still won. Now they got the the game for the division against the Jags, so we'll see what happens. Uh, Browns are at nine. I mean, that was a big win against the Steelers. Um, this team looks like they're still going to make the playoffs, despite you know what's going on at the quarterback position. Uh, DTR getting his first win in the NFL. Um, so congratulations to him. I know he was in tears after the game. 
Um, so yeah, Browns seven and three, Jags seven and three, blowing out the Titans. They get back on the right track, and yeah, big game coming up against the Texans. Then you got the Cowboys at seven, um, seven and three. Another big win over the Panthers. They play on Thanksgiving, of course, against the Commanders. Big spread there. I still don't know what to do with those games. Uh, so um, I, I got to pick somebody. Um, at six, we got the Dolphins at seven and three, winning against the Raiders. Um, A Chan got hurt in the game, but it was it was they said it was for precautionary reasons, but we'll see uh, that why he didn't come back into the game. But, uh, you know, we'll see what happens with that moving forward. The Chiefs dropped down three spots to five. Yeah, the offense has not looked good. Um, that's really why. You got the 49ers, the Lions, the Ravens, and the Eagles as your top four. I'd probably put the Niners over... I'd probably put the 49ers over the Lions and over the Ravens at the moment. The Niners look like themselves. Um, but I, 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 I agree that the Eagles, they should still be uh, the best team right now in the nfl um but we'll find out in a couple of weeks because when do the uh the niners and the eagles play each other they play each other week 13 so in a couple of weeks and right now they are two point favorites in that game so that is a humongous game um really looking forward to that and we'll see what happens because that could that's going to determine who the best team is uh record wise well that's going to determine who gets home field i'm going to say that's going to determine maybe who gets home field advantage um but i still right now i still look at the eagles as the best team lions their defense uh you know has not played well the last couple of weeks um you know so we'll i mean we'll see what happens but um yeah those are the power rankings in the nfl so we're going to go through the power rankings in the uh in, in college football really quickly as we got some uh some time left here so i mean i guess we'll do yeah we could do the, the whole thing so that this is like the top 25 so you got kansas uh, tulane oklahoma state at 23 utah at 22 kansas state at 21 carolina uh, north carolina at 20 notre dame at 19 tennessee 18 arizona 17 iowa 16 and that's a team that you know, I've watched a little bit. It's it's crazy. Like, their defense is really good, but their offense just cannot score points. I mean, you look at these, you look at some of these scores, like 15-13, 10-7, losing 12-10, 15-6. I mean, it's 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 crazy. Um, but yeah, they're at 16. LSU is at 15, Oklahoma 14, Ole Miss 13, Penn State 12, Oregon State 11, Louisville 10. Um, again, me not being like the biggest college person, um, it's just funny when you got some teams that, you know, you see as like, you know, good basketball schools. Well, Louisville actually was, when, when was it? It was last year. Yeah. They were bad last year, um, in basketball, but, um, yeah, they're in the top 10, uh, they're 10th, uh, Missouri is ninth, Alabama's eighth. Uh, and again, I'm going off of CBS, but it's just, uh. It's weird that they are, uh, you know, that low. Uh, you'd expect them to be in the top four. But, yeah, they're eighth. Uh, Texas is seventh. Oregon is sixth. Washington is fifth. Florida State, four. Michigan, three. Ohio State, two. And, of course, Georgia is at one. Um, I mean, Georgia being up there is no surprise. I mean, they've been one of the best teams uh, the last, you know, several years, of course. Um, you know, winning the national championship last year. Um, but, yeah. Got some, uh, got some more college football in there too. Going over the power rankings. Um, so yeah, and again, a uh, big, uh, you know, big game this weekend between um, Ohio State and Michigan. Um, so you know, we'll see how that goes. Uh, Georgia plays uh, Georgia Tech on Saturday. Um, Florida State plays Florida. Uh, Washington, they play Washington State. Oregon plays. Oregon State, yeah, so, uh, you know, the, that's some of the matchups. Uh, Alabama this week, they play uh, Auburn. Yeah, so it's rivalry, rival, rivalry week this week. That was a tongue twister right there. Um, so, yeah, I mean, we'll see how those games go. Um, and with that, we are going to take our uh, final break of the show. And then when we come back, we're going to look at the current standings in the NFL um, after week 11. 
I'll go through that, and that'll be the uh, that'll be it for the show today. So stick around, and we'll be right back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. <laughs> 